Hi friends, my name is Diana. I'm going to be leading Prop Shop and Cook with Zoe Zucchini starting this Thursday. We're so excited to meet you all and to talk about the farmer's market. One of my favorite things about going to the farmer's market is seeing my neighbors and people in my community talking to the farmers and seeing all the delicious vegetables that they have grown. Some things that I picked up this week are a variety of winter squash. So I have this delicata. This one's a kabocha squash. Here's a little acorn. And this is a really neat one called a spaghetti squash. So I'm excited to talk about all of these things and more, and I'll see you on Thursday. Hi, I'm Zoe Zucchini, and I'll be working with you in the kitchen. Well, separately in the kitchen, the distance kitchen with Diana Delicata, and we will talk about the crops that come from the farmer's market. And until we start working together, what I'm going to be doing is uh, pulling out all of those wilty tomatoes in the background and putting them into my compost pile in the background. And I'm gonna get some pretty rich nutrient soil next year. See you soon. My name is Tyler Epps. I am the market manager here at the Beacon Farmers Market. And what happens at the Farmers Market? When is the Farmers Market held? Farmers Market here in Beacon is on Sundays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. outdoors. Indoors starts in December and it's from 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. every Sunday. And what can you find at the Farmers Market? Oh, you can find all sorts of treats at the Farmers Market. Everything from cabbage to kale to donuts and pies to honey and jams and beef and chicken and fish and it's all local and harvested sustainably. And what do you like to eat at the farmer's market? I like to eat so much at the farmer's market. I, my favorite thing is pie. Pie? <laughs> pie. But outside of that I'm, I'm a huge fan of bok choy. I also love some nice apples but Nothing comes close to pie in my world. Because you can eat apples and pie. I can have apples and pie. You can have beef and pie. You can have beef and pie. You can have eggs and pie. You can have eggs and pie. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Tyler. Yeah. Hi, my name is Mary Kate, and I'm the owner and farmer at Meadowland Farm. This is my stand at the Beacon Farmers Market. Right now it's cold season, so we have a lot of storable vegetables and a lot of nice leafy greens. So things like cabbage and squash we'll keep all through the winter and we'll sell it at the market inside through to the spring. Yeah, do you want to tell us what you have right here? That's a honey nut squash. It's a sort of super sweet, nice little bite-sized squash. This is butternut delicata koji nut. What's really fun about the farmer's market is even though it's cold, it's really great to come here and interact with all the people as the farmer, which is not something you get to do when you go to a grocery store. The other good thing is everything was grown within an hour from Beacon, so it's very, very local, which supports the local community and economy. Unlike things coming in from California, um, which also makes it more seasonal, which is better for the environment because uh, we're not flying things and shipping things from another country or the, another state from very far away. And yeah, I think that's really important. <laughs> Hi, I'm Terry. It's my brother Tom, and we run a family farm, small farm. We sell eggs and meat. And and you also accept SNAP food benefits? Yes, we do. Yeah, at the market, yep. That's great. Yeah. The market has, has been, uh, people who run the market have been very helpful in uh, aiding us being, all the farmers being able to accept SNAP to, uh, tokens because we can turn them into the market manager and they can turn them in as a bulk so that we're all not waiting for small little checks here and there. To come in, we can just uh, get paid at the end of the day, like we would a, a normal customer. So then the market makes it, the market helps the farmers. Yes, 
to make the money at the market and make it affordable to sell directly to the customer. Yes. Yeah. It, it's a magic combination. We work together. That's wonderful. Hi, I'm Sam. I own Long Season Farm with my wife, Erin. We're a certified organic four season vegetable farm in Ulster County, New York. We love coming to the farmer's market, mostly because we like getting to talk to all of our customers face to face. And I really like uh, spending time setting up our booth, making everything look nice. And yeah, that's what I like the most about the farmer's market. I think for customers it's great because you can see everything when it's super fresh. You can ask questions directly to the grower and you'll get what's the most in season all the time. Uh, usually the prices are just as good as the grocery store and the quality is usually a lot higher. So those are some reasons to shop at the market. That is Romanesco cauliflower. Do you want me to pick one up so you can not okay. have to yeah. max out your iPhone <laughs> zoom skills. It's beautiful. That's a cauliflower? Yeah. It's a Romanesco cauliflower. It's fractal. I do not have rubble friends. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Leah. I'm the farmer at Common Ground Farm. And what did you bring to market today, Leah? We brought all of these treats. We brought lots of crops that are growing, especially in the fall right now. So we have lots of greens and lots of root vegetables and lots of winter squash. Do you have any bok choy? Yes. We have these cute little baby bok choys here and we have big bok choys there. And which ones are the winter squash? They're down here. We have pumpkins that you make pie out of and spaghetti squash that when you cook it, it turns into resembling spaghetti noodles and butternut squash and these are called kabocha. What do you do with the kabocha squash? You just cut it up and roast it. Can you eat the skin? Yes. You can eat the skin. Nice. Thank you.